will be coming shortly on the mat in blue judogi and then we have the number one seeded after Andir Chigrishvili so am I right we're repeating last year World Championships final indeed we are so let's see here is the revenge for Chigrishvili to to get his get his hand around Pietri and perhaps get over it now and get on the top. They're just getting ready. Pietri got on the wrong side, never mind. He's on the a right bit, side now. A bit of nerves, I suppose. I'm sure it is. Well, we're about to get underway with the last final of today. It's the final of the men's under 81 kilo category. Aftan Dil Chirikishvili of Georgia in the white judogi. Loic Pietri of France in blue. We'll repeat, as Sandra was saying, of the World Championship final from last year in Rio when Loic Pietri came out the winner. Both fighters are penalised for negative gripping. penalty for it so far. One of the things that is unlikely to happen here, which you, you may get in repeat contests, is for the person who lost in the last last time round to be overly defensive. That's not Chirikishvili's way. No. He's a very I attacking agree with fighter that. and you can see that right from the start. He's the one who's looking to get that pressuring, yes. And putting, as you say, putting Similar pressure on. Similar to like Pietri. La Rosa and Kova. We repeated another final yesterday, and yeah, it did turn out in the opposite way than the one before. You can see how this. But yes, you're right, it is always the case when we have a rematch in a final, especially in two. We're talking about two strong competitors, world number one and the world champion. There's a drop to Naga, but it wasn't really, it was just dropping down, not much effort in there. Trying, trying. So it's another penalty has been given to the Georgians. So now it's two to one in the penalties. Chirikishvili trying to find a grip that he can settle on in which to launch his attacks. Oh, Pietri just avoiding things here. Another try. Now I saw that then dropping down by his grip. The Georgians are screaming for Shido. No, I think they're right. Yes, for the right reason. Pietro just Second dropped down. Second time he's just dropped there. And there was no intention of breaking balance. And no, because he, exactly, he failed one attack. Yes. He realized that he wasn't in a good position. And he dropped just to his dropped knees, having knee, yeah. failed, the, failed the attack. And during this time, Trigish will just stand there. Stood there and <laughs> mind you, that wasn't that much better, was it? <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> trying to defend they one fighter like or wall. the other. But they, <laughs> they both, both like a wall. They yeah. turn in, and they drop off each other. Half the contest still to come. There is the reverse. He's not going to with him. Yes. He knows worked a couple of times after. with Maresh. Yes, he did, and he did find a. He worked at the end as well. Let's see if Piot. Let's see if Piot will get the crowd you know, up the on the third time. Feet. You don't like the look of it. No. It's the same as before, and. Touching the leg here and there, not really seriously, but 
Yes, it has to be a shido by now. I mean, there's no intention of throwing, and um, Shikuchi is standing on his feet very well without any danger of getting thrown. Yes, there is the shido we were talking about. So then it's again. Yes, they had to head again. The audience isn't really happy, little booming. And again, a drop down well, with no intention of throwing. Well, no, I mean, that time he actually tried, but he failed. At least he had some effort, but he failed. He was blocked by Cherokishvili, which was different from what he was doing before. He wasn't even attempting to throw him, he was just dropping. Again, there was another there's failure. Yes. He's, he's failed. He's actually trying to throw him there. But Cherokishvili is too strong. Yes. That's different from a false attack. On the other occasions, he had no intention of throwing him. He just dropped his knees. On both those occasions there, he tried, but Cherokishvili was too strong. You can't fault a man for trying. And there he goes again. Again and oh, again. Almost onto Chirikishvili's throw there. <laughs> a minute and a half left to go. Good pressure from the Georgian. He looks for yes, something. Yes, at the edge especially. The here. Safe to drop underneath. The crowd is getting loud. <laughs> Booing, everything going on here from both sides. Still no penalties, now the referee is stopping them to tidy up their belts. Let's see what is going to happen. Just a little bit over than a minute we've got left of this final, the last match of the day. The day two of the European Championships. Cherikish really, really needs to put in some attacks here. They're trying, but they're both really strong. We have to, I mean, we're talking about two top players really trying hard to score and we now get to a minute left and Chikashi seems to step it up and now opening up trying to attack with the right Ushimata but with one hand it is almost impossible to throw And there it is, a shido has been given one, to yeah. Pietri. So there are 50 seconds left for the French guy to score. Or get another penalty for the Georgian. The referee stopped the fight. Had to take it away. Yes, 2-2 oh. again, back to square. We are in France. You can hear the crowd is going insane. <laughs> Needs to come up with a big attack. Trying with the coach as well, but I have to say, Chukish really is like a wall. You cannot move him. He's like a wall. Standing on his feet, 27 seconds, Mata again. There again with the right to Chimata. What's gonna happen? Oh, he scored. Look at that. It's Chirikishvili who that's scores. The Wazari is on, but they, and that is it, an they've changed it to Ipon. You could see something was gonna happen. Yeah. The minute he turned in, yet you start to lift, you knew one of them is going to throw. What a day to end it with. <laughs> it's a beautiful throw, I'm really impressed. The minute they turn in, you could tell there will be something. One of them is going to score, whether it was Pietri or Trikishvili, we did not know until now. But it is an Ipon for the Georgians, so he got his revenge from last year's World well, Championships. And he can call himself a European champion now. And that was the last contest of the day, or day one of the European Championships 2014 in Montpellier in France. We had three French finalists. We got one gold from Clarissa, and we got two silver from Pietri and Hugo Legrand. What you get from Aftandil Chirikishvili is all out, complete, non-stop judo. Look the at guy that. never, to never stops going. Back on, beautiful. Whoa. What a sight that was. But you could tell the minute he turned, look at that, he's trying to lift and he used his step. Look the angle he's coming back from. It's completely. 
turn back <laughs> away and he's coming back from me and rotating. Look at that. And I wouldn't want to be Pietro now. He landed on his head. <laughs> Incredible action there. Really was incredible flight there. It was from Jerichishvili. Happy coach. Look Medals at the medals now are being presented the in the under 70 kilo category for women. Great contest today. Yeah, really. Of the second day at the European Championships. Martina Ziengrasser getting in the picture from the European Judo Union General Secretary's office and there is the lineup for the Pietri Chirikishvili Marish just making an appearance he's popped, <laughs> his, popped his head out there all of a sudden here I am <laughs> in case you guys can't see me <laughs> a big smile on their face well if Chirikishvili was dynamic. Polling was breathtaking. I think that's that's the the word we're looking for. Absolutely. Both done a really good day. Just waiting for the awarding ceremony party to get lined up. The, the players were lined up quicker. And they normally are. They were all in good order. All, all of them had their. The only judogi that needed to be changed yes. was Pietri's. Yes. The other two were all ready and waiting to go. She really looks really tired. Not surprised why. <laughs> that was quite a throw in the final. Well, we both it finals, was. the under seven. The, the, both of the last finals, the under 81 and the under 70 kilo category, both ended with spectacular oh, yes. hip, hip ons. Great throws. The, the last one took a lot longer to get there. It was coming to the yes, end of the but contest. The first, but the 70 kilo one happened within the first 10 seconds. Exactly, so. but this was a revenge for the Georgian after last year's final at the World Championship. Yeah, I'm just wondering, you, you know, you. you I spoke to Mylinda Kelmendi about revenge. Yes. And she said, there's no revenge. No revenge. But she was talking about lo losing in the Olympic Games to Christian Le I spoke Gentil, to her about that myself. And then, and then winning in, in Rio, the World yes. Championships, w when she saw Le Gentil. And <laughs> I know. Said, did it. <laughs> I would do anything to have that fight. To have back. that, yes, I know. I spoke to her about the Olympic it. Games. It yeah. is a remaining nightmare for her. Y yes, it it's is. And, and, and it's I think it will be. Around for a while, it will yes. be, yes, until I think until Rio Olympic Games, it will be. Yeah. That will be her second time to to change that that bad day over there. So here are our medalists. Bijan Sabolc from Hungary. Yeah takes the medal. Let's make sure they get the, the flag right the right one, way huh? round. <laughs> I think they, I hope they should. I explained to them in which order the colours should be. <laughs> Sven Maresz also getting a bronze medal. Sven Maresz of, of Germany. Yes. Silver medalist goes to, silver medal goes to Noé Pietri. Gold medal goes to Aftandili Chirikishvili of Georgia. He's not a big smiler, is he, Chirikishvili? Not at all. I think he just pleased to be done and over. It will sink into him probably later on. But it's really, some players are emotional, some players are not so emotional. Standing on the top of the podium. Certainly Pietri doesn't look happy. <laughs> These are the final results. Bronze medals for Chris and Maresh. Silver medalist Pietri and gold to Cherokee
Came in the last 20 seconds. Well, yeah, so I haven't even... Nice, that. Look at that throw. It's the angle he managed to come back, that's what I'm really impressed with. He was taking back, his shoulder is leaning back, look, and he's just getting in in the right moment, turning back. It's absolutely amazing. Now the right. national anthem of Georgia. That was the second day of the 2014 European Championships. Are you looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah, well, obviously we've got the heavier weights on tomorrow and the, 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 big, the big gun, really. Everyone is looking forward to seeing Teddy Rinner. Uh, I include myself in that. But of course, we've still got the team event on Sunday to come and for me that's the most exciting day when when you've got the, the, such the, an atmosphere isn't it yeah the, team got the teams and the in individuals it's priceless in the same group that, that team event really uh, that does something special anyway that's all the live action that we've got for you from montpellier we look forward to your company tomorrow when we 